Hi my friends, it's Angela. Welcome back for another amazing Walmart haul. The first thing we're gonna talk about today is an amazing gift idea. Everyone's always looking for a gift idea, right? Whether it's for a birthday, or I know some of you like to be doing your Christmas shopping early, right? I'm not one of those people, but I know you're out there and you enjoy all your ducks in a row and your Christmas list completed before like October even ends. Now, I know it's not even June, okay? I get that. But you know how good it feels when you do find some gifts and you can just cross it off your list completely and not have to think about it. And the fall comes and Thanksgiving and all that and you're like, I'm good, I'm good, right? So I'm gonna share an amazing gift idea for you guys today. So maybe this will help you guys out to get started early, get these things, store them in a room somewhere so you'll be all set when Christmas time comes around. So let's go ahead and get started with that item. This you've seen before, but it is a little bit of a different design. So like you saw in the thumbnail, this is a wax warmer, but I loved the design of that. It looks like a little lamp with a twist, right? Because this top part comes off here and you put your wax in there and it smells amazing. Now I'm gonna take you guys over to where I have this set up in my house because I'm keeping this, girlfriends. If this design doesn't work for you all, there are other design links I'm gonna put down below in my description box so that you can check them all out because they're a little bit different. This, for my house, works out perfectly. It's kind of that rustic chic design and it goes perfectly in here. And what I really like is this Edison bulb. Those are really cool. Um, it's got this Edison bulb right in there and it warms the wax. So let me take you over there and show you what I'm talking about. So check out that little warmer. It looks so perfect on that little table, right that I've got kind of in my foyer area. And let me tell you, they have so many different choices of wax kind of scents. It smells amazing when you walk into my front door. This thing comes off right here and you put your wax right on the top there. And it's got a little cord that plugs into the wall it is long enough so that it will reach a little bit, you know, a little ways. And let me turn this on so you guys can see how cute it is. Okay, so there's what it looks like on. It not only gives you a little light um, in the room, a little accent, but it smells amazing. Depending on what kind of scent you pick out, this would be perfect to give to somebody as a gift to put in really any room in their house. Okay, now a reason why that's such an amazing gift idea is because it's not that expensive. That little lantern with the Edison bulb in it was $18. And again, they have other designs. Check out my description box below for links to different designs of what they had. So if you end up putting something like that in a little gift bag, and then you add a little package of wax to it, these are $2 and they had a ton of scents at Walmart. Each were $2. Now they did have bigger packs that were maybe $5 and they had almost double the amount of wax here. So these little $2 packs have uh, six little blocks of wax in them. This is the one that I bought that I have been smelling all day and it is amazing. It's called Warm Rustic Woods and it's by Better Homes and Garden. I picked up that scent, it's amazing. And of course, I had to get honeysuckle nectar. This is like a total summertime smell. Like when I smell this, it is all in my head goes summertime, right? Honeysuckle, mm. yeah, it's just, it's amazing. So, so glad I bought that. I am keeping that right over on my front table because when people walk in, they get that whiff, right? <laughs> They're like, oh, you know? Who doesn't like walking into a house that smells really good? Takes about an hour or so for the smells to really get going. So if you have company coming over, you need to turn it on about an hour before, and then you're good to go. That's my fantastic gift idea to share with you guys. It's just more decorative than I've seen it in the past. So I was really excited to find that. Now we're going straight to the clothes. And this little top here is my first clothing piece. It is by Wound Up and it was $5. Yeah, 
I mean, what a great deal. Okay, so I wanna show you the whole outfit first so you guys can get the whole look and then I'll peel off the layers and we'll look at the basic t-shirt. So I put on my little clear gladiator jelly sandals that I was so excited to find in February when I was down in Florida, but I've seen it in my stores just recently. They still have them. You may not be able to find them online, but check in your local store because I know I've seen them there. So there's gotta be other stores that still have them. Love these little shoes to add just a little pop of something interesting, a little pizzazz to your outfit. These white Levi's also came from Walmart. I like that they have a little distressing and that it's above the knee, so your knee isn't busting through the distressing. Um, they're a good quality. They don't show anything that you're wearing through there. And then I put on this really light grayish leopard print t-shirt, which came from Walmart this time. And I put it on with a light jean jacket just to kind of give the whole thing like different coordinating colors, you know? So, okay, let me take this off. Oh, actually I forgot my belt too. So this little loopy silver belt, you can also find at Walmart nowadays. It is by No Boundaries and it's $10. And believe it or not, I just saw it in store this week still. So this one is from the 80s. I know you guys have heard that a million times, but I've saved it from the 80s. But the ones you're selling in store now look almost identical. So this is just a t-shirt. It's just a t-shirt, but love this print, love the gray coloring for a leopard print t-shirt. For $5, you cannot go wrong. Now I picked this up in a medium because I'm as I'm looking on the rack, I'm going, man, that small looks small. So I, I did pick it up in a medium and I, I'm glad that I did. I think the small would have been too, too tight. So especially with shrinking, you know, when you're washing and drying. So I'm glad I picked up the medium. So here it is from the side and from the back. I mean, this is something really cute that you can put on with white jeans, white shorts, a white skirt. Um, you could even put this on with a pop of color on the bottom just to make it look kind of cool, maybe even pink. I have a pair of pink time and true shorts from Walmart and I bet you any money this would look good with those shorts because the pink and the gray, they totally look great together, you know? Okay, hang in there, let me get the next item on. And some of you may know, I love to decorate cakes and I've done that for 18 years or so and I get into some really cool creative cakes. So. When I saw this in the store, I'm like, that is so darn cute, okay? And I'm in need for a new apron because let me tell you, I go through them like crazy. So this would be something really cute for a friend or um, a relative or whatever, birthday, Christmas, whatever. This was not even $8. Bakers like to bake, okay? So anybody that you know that likes to bake cookies or cakes or pies or whatever, this would be something really cute to include as a gift for them. So it has got all kinds of really cute little cupcakes and sugar containers and baking powder and donuts and all kinds of really cute designs on this. And for under $8, I mean, that's, an, that's amazing. I love the colors in here and I love the little designs. It comes down at a good length. It's got a little ruffling along the bottom that's super cute. And it's just fun, right? I mean, anybody who likes to bake would like to get something like this and you're not breaking the bank to give it to them, you know? Bummer that this is not something that you can pick up online, but if you go into your local Walmart, you'll see these by the home area. Okay, ladies, I am saving you shopping time already, right? There's two gift ideas that can get you started for birthdays or for Christmas already, and it's not even June. Now we're getting to some summer stuff. I found the cutest little cover-up to share with you guys for swimsuits for summertime. You're gonna love it. Okay, I'm back with the next two items from Walmart. The first one I wanna talk about are these cute little earrings by No Boundaries. They were $6, and look at how fun they are. They remind me of summertime, like taking a cruise somewhere. I mean, when we can get back to doing that, but aren't they fun and colorful? And they would go with so many different outfits that have these colors in them. So here's a little bit of a close up of the weaving in there. Um, I like the little double circles. They're just very fun. They're very lightweight and they add just a little pop of color to whatever it is that you're wearing. Okay, the next item is this swimsuit cover up. 
Now, yes, I did put a swimsuit on underneath this to give you the full effect. The swimsuit that I'm wearing came from Venus, the last video I just did last week. So check that out if you wanna see more details about the actual swimsuit. But I found this cover up in store and it is like a long t-shirt design, okay? It does have a collared top up here. It's got a low V. It's got buttons all the way down the front. And it, it is sheer, but it's a swimsuit cover up, you know? So it's kind of one of those things where it doesn't matter if you see the swimsuit through the shirt or not. It's just supposed to be something to kind of throw on when you walk to the pool or the beach or whatever, and you want to walk back. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's really cute. It's got this little bow design on the, on the side, both sides. It, it is a little bit longer in the back than in the front. So here it is from the back. In the front, I just put them on with a pair of little white slides that I had found from Walmart earlier in the spring season. I have seen these slides still available in my store in black, but not in the white. Um, I don't know if they're just sold out or if it's only black in the store, but you can maybe get them online. You'd have to take a look. Anyways, um, this little swimsuit cover up has roll tab sleeves, which not my favorite, honestly, but I wanted to show a different kind of swimsuit cover-up option because I know I've shown a couple in the past uh, in different colors, but I just really love this color. I thought it was just such a great color. This was the only color I saw in my store, but that doesn't mean that you won't see another color in your store. So really cute for $17. What a great swimsuit cover-up. And it's just easy to put on and off. You really don't even need to undo many of these buttons to get it on over your head and you're just good to go. Now don't go anywhere because the next item I'm gonna share with you, I thought was gonna be a winner and it's looking more like a hot mess. Okay, after I show you this hot mess that I thought was gonna be good, do not go anywhere because I just got a ding dong. What that means is a package at the door and you are not gonna believe what came in the mail. You have to wait for it, okay? All right, so I have seen these online and I thought it was a cute idea. It is this dress by Time and True. It's almost $18. It's got some pockets going on here, girlfriends. And they have it in this plaid, this really pretty colored plaid uh, pattern. They had it in a gray and white striped and they might've had two other colors. Um, I thought it was super cute, okay? When I saw it on the hanger, you know how that goes. You see it on the hanger and you think, oh, that looks awesome. But sometimes when you get it on, it's not exactly what you expected. Now, I saw this in one of my three Walmarts when I went, and the thing is, they did not have any patterns in my actual size, which is a small in time and true. So I thought, let me just get a medium so I can show you guys this dress because I've seen it on their website. I just thought it, I saw it in the store and I thought it was cute. Uh, but in this case, the medium is not doing anything justice, okay? It is apparently too big and it's not showing off well because it's bigger than I need it to be. Uh, it's very roomy in the waist and in this area, a small would look much better on. So I'm not saying don't try this. I'm just saying, you know, if you're a small in a lot of other things then get a small, okay? The medium is just a no-go. I do think this pattern is kind of cute. And you know me with a jean jacket, probably would kick it up a notch, you know what I'm saying? But it's got this cute little ruffle. It's not a spaghetti strap because of the ruffling. So it kind of gives you a little bit more coverage for me, I do have a um, strapless bra on because it just works better. And this is all smocking on the top, so it gives you a lot of stretchy room if you need it. Uh, doesn't come too low on the side view there. The smocking comes right to here, and then it just is straight down, straight down. The length is midi length, and I put it on with a pair of beige little Walmart slides that I got a while ago. It's a very comfortable dress. It's not see-through, which is wonderful. It's not lined, but it really doesn't need to be for summertime. Um, you know, so this would be a really cute option. My advice would be just to make sure you get the right size. 
So just for giggles, I'm going to put a jean jacket on over this and you're going to see what else came at the door at the same time. So I think someone's been getting a little jean jacket envy um, and he's been feeling a little left out. So let me back up and show you the whole the whole thing, okay? So I put a jean jacket on with this dress, which of course elevates the look. And I know some of you are probably thinking, girl, you're crazy, okay? I live down in Alabama or Mississippi or Florida or Georgia, one of those Southern states and it's stinking hot. I will never wear a jean jacket in the summertime, which I totally get. But you know the air conditioned places that I'm talking about where you could you could take a layering piece and probably do that would be a great thing. So it's just something to keep on the back burner or you know when fall comes and you need something to put on over it. So Mr. Bentley um, got a little jean jacket in the mail today. We had a community member comment to me and say you know, it would be kind of funny to have Bentley in a jean jacket for uh, Halloween. And I'm thinking to myself, like, why would we wait to Halloween? I'm doing it now. Because my channel, you see tons of jean jackets all the time. I thought it was only appropriate to get him a little jean jacket so that he fits into our fashion community, you know? So there it is. Um, I got it on Amazon and it's got little snaps right under him here three little snaps <laughs> look at me it looks like no uh fits on him perfectly he's a little dog uh he's maybe 13 pounds and i got him a large because of all the reviews they said it runs way small so i did get him a large i think that's a good size for him actually so there he is sporting the jean jacket with his mama with a jean jacket Okay, you guys, I just had to do it. All right, that's the laugh for the day. So I am gonna put some links to more videos if you're looking to see what's new for the season. And if not, I will just see you in my next video. I hope you guys are all staying well and safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.